Yo, yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Collapse coming at you with another video. And this is going to be a video on Steven and some combos for him. But before we get into that, make sure you take the time and either you can take the link in the description. I'll have the link in the description to my Twitch. Or you can just go ahead and type it in twitch.tv slash collabs. And go ahead and drop a follow, turn on notifications. We are live every single day. We're just looking for some growth. Come on, man. If you haven't already, drop a sub to the YouTube. Check out the TikTok. Follow me on Instagram. TikTok is collapsed on Twitch. Instagram is just collapsed. Twitter is all, all the links are going to be in the description. So make sure you check out the description after you done the video or like while you're watching the video. But without further further ado, we're going to hop straight into the video. We're going to, you know what I'm saying? We're going to teach y'all a little something, something, something y'all ain't know about. All right, so we're going to hop straight into the lab with it. We're going to go ahead and go to Steven and use the perks i'm gonna be rocking perks i typically rock anyways when i'm playing ones i put on green thumb yeah. but anyways so with steven there's some pretty basic bread and butters like like your nair your nair dare or your dare nair like that's always gonna hit that's always gonna hit at the same time like boom so that's something you go around and practice your Oops. You know, you can go practice your near dares. Now, it doesn't, you're not able to combo them infinitely like you were able to before, but you can still do it once or twice. They can DI, DI out of the second one, but you can for sure get to a near dare once. So if you just need to do some easy chip damage, near dare. Oops. Straight up. All right. So with that being said, knowing that you can nair into a down air immediately, there's things you can do off of that. So, um, there's this this combo. So you would you do your hoverboard move hoverboard down air into your nair and then from there you can go into this to this other combo when it teach you so this next part is a little bit more tricky there's uh there's a thing where you can i don't know if you guys know but there's short hops so like you just jump in like you like fast fall like immediate type of shit so you can pass you can uh short hop really 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 fast in this game so with with steven you can't hop out of his jab you can't can't hop out of his his uh his forward jab but you can hop out of his neutral jab see instead of hitting he cancels it but with this you can so that's where this combo is going to come into point into play you're going to start up your neutral attack and cancel it and then you're going to be able to go into more combos so just get into get into the habit of throwing out your Going out your neutral attack and then instead of letting it fully play out like as soon as you press the button pretty much you jump and then it would look like that and then from that you got to get the motion of neutral attack canceling it's a dare so that right once you learn how to do that consistently you can throw in a fast fall and now you're now look at where you're at right so then we're gonna go ahead and try combo with this so uh, there's like many things you can do to start it off. The easier, it's usually easier to go for a, a neutral cancel after you do a move like a different. Like you don't start off with a jab. It's a lot harder to do a neutral cancel off a straight ja a straight jab. But if you do it off of like your down air or like a nair, it's really easy to convert. So boom, boom, neutral cancel, and you just smash down. Boom, twenty four damage, easy. And what was it like four hits, five hits, four hits? So, and I'll slow it down when I'll slow it down for you and replay it again. But uh, we can go with that. You can just go into even longer combos. So we have one where you nair in first. So for this combo, without hitting somebody, I'm gonna just show you. You want to nair in, double jab, neutral cancel into the down air, jabs again, neutral cancel down air, jabs again to finish. So it should look something like this. So when you're doing the combo, that's what you're pretty much aiming for. And let's do it on Superman. So you want to nair it and then just do what I did pretty much. Just 
All right, like that, but I dropped it, so let's do it again. So that would be the combo when you landed on Superman. So another one would be doing the same thing, but just starting off with a down air to begin with. So that's how it would look. And let's just go ahead and put it into a full uh, actual game situation. Or let's actually do it on a bot. On the bot. Something like that. Okay. So then the next one you can do it off this. So you know something like that. That's how you do it off the other board. Then the last, the last one I can show you with the same combos. Uh, pretty much. This time we're just starting off with the aggressive bubble. So as you can see, Steven's Nair can be used as a stall tool. There's a lot of people that still don't know that. You can just flow and then you just slightly tilt down your stake and you can just, you can just stall for a good amount of time. Steven's up air has a really good floating properties. Like you can literally just float back and forth, back and forth. Oh, almost died. It was like, but he's just floating so much. So it's like damn near possible. You just hold A, he can float a little bit. Just kind of like Bugs Bunny and a couple other characters. A couple of characters have that um, ability to just kind of sit there and float while they're in the air just by holding their jump button. His down air floats kinda. Not as much as this one. This one will keep you in the lot you move very good. This one, it's like, it keeps you in the air for a little bit. For sure, it keeps you in the air, but you're not getting that that movement, that mobility. Like this one, you can go, you can go one side, you can go one side of the blast zone, the other side, just clapping. This one, not so much, <laughs> not so much. So yeah. Um, another thing, be careful if you're ever in disadvantage. Try to also always be 100% when you're going for your up shield. If you accidentally throw a side shield right there, you can really fuck yourself because for one, you can't get up now by just jumping. Two, if you get wall fatigue, you might just end up sliding down and just fall into blast zone. And then the third and most annoying thing is like, if you're in disadvantage, more than likely there's gonna be somebody up there going for you. So if you side shield right here, you're forced to jump out this way and get back up, which they'll notice that since they know the shield's here, they, they already know where you're gonna go. So it's either you just get spiked because you're under the, steel sh the shield still, or you try to go around and they kind of can predict where you're gonna go because you only have two options, either go straight, either either sit here and under the shield and die, or go around the shield. So yeah, just be careful with that side shield off like a disadvantage. Only thing this can really, this can actually be useful is if you, if you, uh, if you use it right there and somebody chases, if you use like anywhere up here and somebody chases you into disadvantage, and like they they don't get their spike like say you're right here and they don't get their spike immediately you can up shield them into that and it'll spike them and they'll go from this part to the side shield and just fall out the map like that's actually a pretty good outplay it's just really hard because there's so many good spikes in this game that playing right here on the wall is really scary somebody like taz jumps down you're dead somebody like superman grabs you're dead like it's just so much so much for you to worry about so that's why those plays are kind of really really not even kind of they're just really risky to go for um you can no longer up shield all the way up to the top of the map as you can see no longer platform for me to stand on but 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 you can reset that with side shield so now i have another platform to stand on and i didn't have to touch the ground so side shield reset re still resets up shield if you want to play, play like this so, also look, keep in mind what I just did. If you're ever in disadvantage, instead of wasting your jumps, or if you don't have any more jumps per se, like let's say if you jump like this and then you upshield, 
you can still dodge twice and get on top of your shield. shield. So remember that you can use two dodges and you'll make it on top of the shield and reset all your jumps. Now you have two more jumps. His side special gives him a little bit of also uh, floatiness. Just a tad bit, nothing too crazy. You can still fall down. Just gives him a little bit, a little bit of recovery time. You can also use it in disadvantage. You know, there's a lot of disadvantage plays you can make to get to safety with Steven. Very, very safe character. Um, with your hoverboard, you can also dodge roll. And keep that same momentum, because like, usually it's just kind of slow like this, but if you dodge roll and swing it, You can use that to chain into multiple hoverboards. You can hoverboard one after another. So give it a try. Um, Steven has really good short hop claps. You can really go crazy doing this, taking over the whole stage, just short hop clapping. His Sair and his Nair, they're really good options to get in. And as you see right here where I just did, if you if you if you Sair so low into the ground, it will cancel the knockback on your Sair. See like that? So instead of you Sairing and then boom, you kinda go back and he goes back. One more time. Instead of you guys both going back, you Sair all the way at the ground and then you can you can keep moving forward. So here's another combo that I didn't show, but you can you can go from that stair into the straight into those other combos. Once you learn that basic combo, you can literally just use that off of anything. So if you made it to the end of the video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Also share the video with a friend, comment. Comments help a lot. They really keep me going. They keep me thriving. Like every time I see a comment, they're just like grind, grind, grind harder, grind harder, grind harder. Like I've been grinding Twitch so much, and like end up getting like a random comment on one of my YouTube videos that like from, like last week, and I'm like, people are still watching that, and it's just like it just blows my mind every single time, and it just makes me want to keep on grinding so hard. So like I appreciate everybody that took the time of the day to like the video, comment it. Uh, subscribe to the channel like it means so much I'm gonna be honest like it means so much 